Hi, my friends. Welcome to Deep Six, the Deep State. You know, the other day, I think actually this morning, uh, the Today Show interviewed Bill Clinton and asked him about Monica Lewinsky. He was being interviewed as part of his book tour with James Patterson of Thriller. And uh, they and he stoutly defended himself and said he was the victim and all kinds of stuff. But the media never asked him, then or now, about the first instance of sexual harassment that Bill Clinton committed. You know, sexual harassment not only means hitting on somebody who doesn't want to have sex and using your position of power and influence and authority to coerce them. Uh, it also means using your position of power to reward someone for saying yes and punish somebody else uh, instead. Uh, punish somebody else. Now, this happened in 1991 with Jennifer Flowers. Just as Bill Clinton was planning to announce his candidacy for president in 1991, Jennifer Flowers hit Bill Clinton and asked for money, uh, saying that she had to make ends meet and she didn't want to have to tell her story in public. And Clinton arranged for her to get a job in state government while he was governor. That's an act of sexual harassment clearly to shut her up and to stop her from going to the media. And to get that job uh, at the state as administrative assistant at the State Review Board, State Board of Review, he had to shunt aside the black woman who was supposed to get that job and had already been selected to get it, named Charlotte Perry. And uh, the director of the board, a guy named Don Barnes, um, shunted Perry aside and named Flowers to that job. Uh, Perry then appealed to the Civil Service Grievance Commission, which ruled unanimously in her favor and ordered Flowers out and Perry in. But then Barnes intervened. Barnes was a political appointee of Clinton's and overruled the board and gave the job to Flowers instead, who kept it for a couple of months and then left uh, after Clinton announced for president. But these proceedings, the uh, pardon, re the review board, and the hiring and the firing, all took place on October 9th, 1991, six days after Bill Clinton announced his candidacy for president. This was an incredibly overt act of sexual harassment, uh, firing a woman who was supposed to get a job, uh, hiring a woman who has, was not at all qualified for that job, as the pardon, as the review board indicated, shunting aside the verdict of a state grievance committee and overcoming that to put uh, the object of his harassment in a position uh, so that she would be shut, shut up and uh, wouldn't go public uh, with the news of their affair. Absolutely blatant, and uh, yet nobody mentions it. So circulate this video widely. This is not part of the record that everyone knows about with Monica Lewinsky. Uh, but it is one of the most gl glaring aspects of Bill Clinton's record as governor. Thanks for watching.